Right, I've given you a sampler of this uh, set before now, but this is the uh, 10 records from this set. I haven't got a complete uh, uh, Lintone set. I've got a complete 78 RPM UK dialect set. I haven't got the American ones. But uh, this is uh, Cockney. Uh, George Cross, Canning Town, Standard Passage, Extract from Major Barbara by George Bernard Shaw and the Auction by George Cross. Now, being a Londoner myself, Cockney's my local dialect. I'm in the, here in the East London as well, in the East End. That's the uh, the covers, so I've got ten of these. I don't know if that's the right number for this particular record, but uh, the British Drama League set up to help uh, actors and their like to uh, learn the dialects of Britain in the days when uh, we didn't all have uh, easy access to the internet. You see the various dialects? I've got most of them, but uh, on ten discs that were put out probably in the 60s, copies of the 78s, and I guess may play slightly less... Uh, surface noise than the uh, 78 so they are a bit uh, creased these uh, 45 rpm lintone records so let's let's make a start cockney got the uh, needle in place push it over a bit So you see, I'm right about it, mates. You see the little kid coming from the school over there, past the car shed? Now, here she is, going down the alley, through the red gate on the other side of the road. I say, the silly little mare has gone straight to the door of the wrong ass. She's daft. What's she thinking of? It's the ass where she'll blink him or find the mopey, dried up deaf old bloke. We know all about him, don't us? His name's Tom, ain't it? But he can't bear the kids. You give her a telling off and teach her not to do it again. I bet he's a nice head. Blimey! Ain't I right? See, she's buzzing off. He's got the wind up her. Huh? Poor kid, it's a shine. That's him a cackling now. Did you ever see anything like it in the world? Here comes the boss of the school too. Now I'll hear something. Ock of the rather kicking up. Can't they chin wag? Now nah, lads, I've got a ticket to get rid of. Don't ask me where it come from, but I'll sell it to the eyes bidder. If you want the bird lime, now's your chance. Now who'll make a bid? A dadder I bid, a brown, a steva, a joey. Go into the joey, a lord of the manor, a touch me on the knob. B shilling tooth, half a dollar, half a bar, a Jimmy O Goblin. Going in a Jimmy O Goblin, going in a Jimmy O Goblin for the third and last time. Jimmy O Goblin, sold. Coming, Arthur, I've got something to tell you. Now listen, I'm getting spliced. You know as me and Liz have been mucking about for a long time. Well, three weeks ago, I went into the top house and found her with Ginger Dick. So I slapped her across the kisser, chinned him one, and it was good night nurse with him. When I turned round, Liz had gone. I hopped off to her old pot and pans and found Liz in the wash house crying. What about it, I said. And she said, Bill, if you love us, muck us about. We went to the imp and I said to Liz, what about getting tied up? She said, you mean it, Bill? I said, not half, and kissed her across the north and south till she said, half a mo' bill, we're in the pictures. Snobby Price from George Bernard Shaw's Major Barbara. What a rummy, what that you say? Had a good meal? Now, you call that a meal? Good enough for you, perhaps, but watch it to me, an intelligent working man. What am I? I'm a painter. Yes, you dare say I know. Every loafer that can't do nothing calls himself a painter. Well, I'm a real painter, grader, finisher, 38 bob a week when I can get it. Why don't I get it? I'll tell you why. First, I'm intelligent. Yes, intelligent beyond the station in life 
to which it has pleased the capitalist to call me, and I don't like a man that sees for him. Second, an intelligent being requires a due share of happiness, so I drink something cruel when I get the chance. Third, I stay for me class and do as little as I can so as to leave off the jobs for me fellow workers. Fourth, I'm fly enough to know what's inside the law and what's outside it. And inside, I do as the capitalist does. Take all I can lay me hands on. In a proper state of society, I'm honest, sober and industrious. In Rome, so as to speak, I do as the Romans does. What's the consequence? When trade's bad, and it's rotten bad just now, and the employees have to sack off their men, they usually start on me. So long, Rummy. Keep off the beer. Good oh, blimey. Proper cockney, that one.